Hi, I'm Jessica, and my cat Draven is a certified therapy cat. Draven received his certification in October 2013 from a group called Love on a Leash. Love on a Leash is based out of California and certifies dogs, cats, and rabbits to be therapy pets. Draven's favorite thing to do is visit patients in the hospital. <laughs> we visit the hospital at least three times a month and he just loves to crawl in bed with them and lay there and purr and get head scratches and treats and just attention. We realized that he would make a good therapy cat when he was very young. So we did all kinds of things to practice getting him ready for the certification process, like having him wear a harness inside the house, taking him on trips in the car <clears throat> to places other than the vet, had him visit friends and family in their homes and just get used to being around strangers in strange places. I would say the most surprising thing about taking him on therapy visits is how easily people will open up to a cat rather than people. We've had people tell us things that they probably haven't told the staff members or maybe even some people in their family. You know, when they're fe feeling lonely or sad or if they're in pain or they're scared about something they will so very easily talk to Draven about it whereas sometimes talking to a person isn't as easy. And it's probably because Draven's a really good listener. Whereas sometimes people don't always hear what the patients or residents are trying to tell them. And I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that we typically visit elderly folks. And a lot of times I think elderly folks don't feel like we listen to them. Draven listens, <laughs> especially if you have treats. He will definitely listen if you have treats in your hand. But it's just kind of nice to have that ability to break down some of those walls and barriers that we have when we're just communicating person to person. I've had folks contact him through his Facebook page or through email and tell him things that, you know, I assume they know it's a person running his email and his Facebook page, but they're really talking to him. And it's kind of nice to see that, that willingness to be open and, you know, not be embarrassed about things or not be afraid of things. So first and foremost, I would say that's the best thing about having a therapy animal. Um, the second thing is just the places we get to go. We've been invited to personal birthday parties. We've been invited to educational events, fundraisers, all kinds of things that typically I wouldn't have gotten an invitation to. And I guess really I'm not the one getting the invitation, it's Draven. But of course I have to drive him so I get to go and have cake as well. So just being able to open doors and go to things you normally wouldn't be able to go to and seeing the look on people's faces when you get there with a cat on a harness in a stroller, sometimes wearing costumes <laughs> is kind of an incredible thing. And of course, there are studies that have been done that show the physical, tangible benefits of being having pets or you know having a visit from a pet. Like it decreases, it decreases anxiety, decreases depression, boredom, helps lower blood pressure, um, helps bones and soft tissues heal, things like that. So not only is it nice, just kind of a nice thing to do, it can actually have physical ramifications and make people physically feel better. So in my eyes, Draven is completely a hero, and we will keep doing what we're doing as long as he enjoys doing it. Thanks.